right, since I'm feeling a little bit sick today, I thought this uh, was a good opportunity to talk about uh, whether you should go train when, you, uh, when you're sick, when you're not feeling uh, your best. And there is one big rule that you can follow, which is uh, if your symptoms are above your throat, meaning you have a common cold and maybe a little bit of a headache and a stuffed nose, then it is generally fine to train, although I wouldn't, well, I nearly fell there, although I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't go too crazy with your training, I wouldn't impose a, a super highly stressful uh, and try to hit new PRs, would not do that. Now on the other hand, if your symptoms are below your throat, meaning uh, your lungs are hurting or you have a fever, that's an absolute no-go. Uh, in that case, you should just try to rest as much as possible and focus on really just uh, not uh, demanding anything from your body. So above the throat, usually fine, but don't go crazy. And uh, below the throat, just try to stay at home and not, uh, not push yourself too much. Now to improve your recovery from the cold, for example, from the common cold, uh, it's very advisable to increase your intake of vitamin C. So uh, vitamin C rich foods would be tomatoes or strawberries or lemon. Um, well, and what else you can do is you can uh, try to consume ginger and garlic. Like there have been studies showing that uh, certain acids in garlic can help you recover faster from the cold and the ginger has a similar effect. Now when having a fever, try to, the, the general rule would be to feed the cold but to starve the fever. So try to eat normally or don't under eat when you have the cold, like don't diet while you are um, having a cold. But when you have a fever, it is uh, fine to consume very few calories, obviously try to get your protein in for the day if you're a strength trainee and yeah that should help you out when you're sick bye bye